I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then I am so excited to have you here. And if you're returning, then I am so grateful that you want to come back and watch me. If you love all things luxury, handbags, shoes, lifestyle, vlogging, then you have found your tribe here with me. And I would be so grateful if you would hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos. Today, we're doing Hermes. So today is an Hermes unboxing. So you'll see that I have all my Hermes bags behind me. Um, my collection of Hermes bags is particularly small compared to pretty much all my other collections, but I've only been shopping at my store here in Sydney for 13 months now. Um, and these are all the bags that I have um, got in that time. Um, and I love my collection as it is. My most recent one was my Pickerton 18 in uh, touch because it's got um, the, oh, let's hold that down. It's got the um, handles, I'll get there in a minute, in ostrich, which is why it's a touch. And I also got my Belide this year and I picked up my special order Birkin. Um, this was, I got this in September, but it had to be made because it's a special order and I got it in time for my birthday, which was in February. And you might be saying, special order? Doesn't look like a special order. It is a Birkin 35 and it does look like your standard black Birkin 35, but it's not. And if you would like to um, see uh, what about it makes it a special order or if you'd like me to talk you through the process of getting a special order and how that all works, then please comment down below and let me know. I'm more than happy to do a video on that. But today I've got lots of things to unbox. So let's get into that now. So let's start here. So we all know the iconic orange Hermes boxes. Um, and I don't keep my boxes or ribbon. Um, I know some people uh, sell them. <laughs> um, I don't, I just recycle them. So let's open this one up. And <laughs> so I like Hermes bag charms. I just do. I think they're cute. And this is one of their newest ones. <laughs> which looks like a little puppy <laughs> and it's all in um, shearling <laughs> and it's got the the blue leather on it so I think it's called blue sapphire which is the the leather and I can hear Kagam from um, Hey Ya Glamazon screaming right now with laughter about how this is Birkin bait, as she calls it. Um, and if you don't know uh, Kagam, then I will link her channel down below. She's an absolute hoot to watch. Um, and she does a lot of videos on um, luxury brands and the shenanigans that they get up to. So I will link her down below. She's lots of fun. Um, but yes, so this is my newest bag charm. And I just loved it because it was a little puppy dog and I love shirling. So <laughs> when my sales associate messaged me and said, I've got one of these, do you want? I was like, yeah, totally want one of those. So I will hang it probably from my um, Pickerton um, 22, which is in the black ostrich up here because I think that will go well. It um, makes it a very winter bag. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one. So, little box. So, if you've ever bought from Hermes, you probably know what this is. <gasps> oh. So, this is a pink ostrich Calvi. I love Calvies. I use Calvies all the time. And they are super... Um, practical. So this is in the color fuchsia and if you look at the Calvi it just sets up like that. There's nothing too hard about it. It's basically just um, enveloped on either side. One piece of leather or ostrich in this case 
um, and you can actually get a lot in these. These fit a heap of cards. So if you like carrying a card holder, um, this is a good alternative to that as well because you can get a heap of cards in these. So I have on one side of mine my business cards and on the other um, cards that I won't necessarily need access to a lot. So like my healthcare card, um, my card for certain clubs that you need to get into, reward cards, that kind of stuff. So they all get shoved in the other side. So I do use a Calvi every day. And I wanted this one because I have a Bastia, which is also in pink ostrich. Now they're not the same shade and you can see that there. But when he, when my sales associate said he had this one, I was like, yeah, I, I want that because I've got the a Bastia in pink ostrich already. So I want that. And the Bastia is made for coins, but you can get your AirPods in there. Um, you could probably get your um, chapstick and that kind of stuff in there as well. Um, I use mine for coins on those times that I actually, you know, use cash these days because I don't think I've carried cash since before COVID, but there you go. So that's my, sorry, ostrich, Galvi. All right, what else have we got in here? I'm going to move quite quickly today because I've got a lot to unbox. And if you have bought from Hermes and you have bought um, this particular item, then you know this box straight away. You know what's exactly what's in this box. Oh, hello. I love Hermes silks. I have so many. It's insane. I will actually do a reel um, uh, on my Instagram page when I finish unpacking. I'm almost there. Um, of all my silks hanging because they take up a lot of space. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll throw up my Instagram handle so that you can come and find me over on Instagram. I post a lot about my collection over there. I do a few reels. I'm currently setting up the room I'm sitting in um, with all my items and I like to post that as I go. So I will definitely throw up a reel on my silks because everyone's going to go, you're an insane woman. And, and yeah, fair enough. I am. <laughs> Absolutely. I wear that. <laughs> I'm an insane woman. Um... So, which way does this go? Here we go. Uh, yeah, this way. So, I just loved the blues in this. I thought it was so pretty. And I like their... I like their designs that are like pictures. I think that's really cool. So, this is... I'm going to say it's the 90 centimeter scarf. Um, and I've got scarf rings and all sorts of things, but you can put them on your bags, you can wear them. There's a million YouTubes on different ways to tie your scarves, um, different ways you can wear them. Um, people are really creative. So yeah, I, I just, I love their silks. They're just bright and they're colorful. We have a few of the Hermes hanging systems as well so that you can create art from them without ruining them because it's a magnet based system. So the magnets just clip on, on the corners and you can put them up on your wall. Um, and we've got a couple of those because we like to switch out scarves. So it's like switching out art, but you're just switching out scarves instead. Um, so that is my scarf. So what else have we got in here? Let's have a look. All right, let's do the little ones. So these little ones, seriously, if you just know. If you've watched any Hermes unboxing, if you've shopped at Hermes, you know what is in these boxes because they are iconic, teeny tiny little boxes. All right, let's have a look. Uh, so this is a Twilly, obviously. Uh, and it's called uh, Valance. And it's all in these very pale pastel colors which is why I liked it because a lot of my twillies are very full on um, and I wanted something that was uh, a little bit more neutral and a little bit more um, muted to go on some of my bags so I thought of this for my bleed over here I thought it would be good on that um, and yeah, I could put it on my Birkin 35, absolutely, because the Birkin 35 is black. You can put anything on it, and it, it's going to be fine. Um, at the moment, I've got black ones on it that uh, my sales associate put on for me. Uh, all right, next one. 
Oh, pretty. So this is uh, Clicker Tiss. <laughs> French is terrible. It's always going to be terrible. Can't speak French. Sorry. <laughs> So this is in this beautiful green and blue palette and I thought this was just so so pretty um, and I thought I could actually use this um, if I wanted to cover up my um, ostrich handles on my Picatin and that one would go really well but trolleys are always fun they just they add color to your bags you can tie them in bows um, there's you can wear them in your hair i just i like i've got a, i do have a twilly problem I, I have many problems and twillies are one of them uh okay so the next one is this blue this royal royal blue and i hadn't seen anything like that before with the the key design on it uh yeah i'm not even gonna try it's a twilly if you like it, go see your sales associate or hop onto the Hermes website and see what you can find. But I'm not even going to attempt the French. Not my thing. Don't want to insult anyone. Um, and this one is the same. So when I buy Twillies, I always buy them in a pair. Always. I don't have any single Twillies at all because... Um, if you're using them for your handbags and you want to use the same on each one, you need two. So I will always buy two for that reason. So in here, in these little boxes that I'm opening now, we will find the pairs to the first two that I opened. Oh, different one. And this one. So this one has got um, horses on it. So if you know Hermes, you know it's an equestrian brand. That's where they started. Um... The most impressive thing I find about Hermes is it's still family owned and run. It is not, um, you know, owned by like LVMH. It, it is still owned by the family. And as someone who owns a company with my mother, I have absolute respect for that. It's not easy to own a family business. Um, and the fact that Hermes is still family owned is super impressive to me. And I think from memory that they have only had maybe one or two CEOs who weren't um, descendants of the original owner. So um, I, I find that really impressive. Um, so that's the, the pair to the first one I opened. And we'll quickly open these because they're just going to be pairs. Yep. So that's that one. And that's that one. So we have eight twillies, which is four pairs for those doing the math. <laughs> so we've got the greens and the blues. We've got the dark blue. We've got the whites and the pastels. So I'm still looking for a good system to store my twillies because I'll throw the boxes out. I won't keep them. Um, and I just haven't been able to find a good system yet. So I'm working on that. What's the best way to store Twillies so I can see them. So if you've got any ideas on great systems that other people have used, then please, um, let me know down below or shoot me a DM over on Instagram. Um, because I am definitely on the hunt for, um, a good system. So let's get some of these out. So this one, so this is fragrance. This is the H24 fragrance. Now my partner has this and I do believe it is a men's fragrance. Um, and he jokes that he likes to wear it because that makes him smell like an Hermes store, which makes him more attractive to me, which is not true. Maybe it's a little bit true. <laughs> <laughs> so he wears this and I love it. I know it's a men's fragrance, but I love it. Um, and I was watching uh, on Instagram, on uh, YouTube, her name's A Heated Mess. And she talked about randomly in one of her videos, like I'm going on holidays. And when I go on holidays, I buy a new fragrance. Um, I wear that fragrance the whole time away. And then when I come back, I smell, whenever I smell that fragrance, it reminds me of that holiday. And I thought, that's a great idea. That's a really good idea. Um, so I'm off to New York. I've said it in every video I've done. I'm sorry. I'm really excited. 
Um, so I'm off to New York in just under a month now uh, and I bought this to take with me. So I'm going to smell like an Hermes store the entire time I'm in New York and then when I come back and I use this fragrance I will remember my holiday in New York. So I just thought that was a great idea. So if you're looking for a fantastic idea, um, I got that from A Heated Mess. She's great. But yeah, so that's my new fragrance. And I've got in here a couple of little ones. So these are beauty items. So let's do that. So these are beauty items. So I got these. These are their new um, infused lip care oil, which I thought was an interesting concept. So I bought them to give them a go. Um, and I think what I'll do is I will take uh, pictures of me wearing each of them and attempt to insert them up here. <laughs> if I can work out how to do that. Um, so this is the, what I'm likening to a red. And I got the, this is rose. So I will always gravitate towards the pinks and the reds and that color palette. So this is the rose. So I'll insert pictures. And, oh, and this is uh, Papri. So this is like the purple. But I just thought lip oil sounded interesting. It sounded really hydrating for your lips. So it's just like um, a gloss. So I will try these on and I'll insert the photos so you can see what the colors look like. So yeah, just a few beauty items. Didn't break. Okay, well, let's move on after that. So another one of these boxes, which we now know probably what's going to be in it. Oh, pretty. So it's another 90 centimeter scarf. And this one had lots of purples in it, which I liked. Purples, pinks, blues, it's all me. Um, so it's just a, a beach pool scene, sorry, pool scene. Um, yeah, they're, they're always such interesting designs. Like there's always a lot going on. Um, and every time you look at them, you see something new. Um, and they're just stunningly beautiful silks. Uh, but, no one should ever own as many as I do. It's just craziness. I can't help myself. New ones come out. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm sure my, my sales associate loves it when the silks come in and goes, right, got to go call Meredith. Uh, and this one's a slightly bigger box, which makes me think that it's probably another size. Yeah. So this one is... um. It's not uh, a, <laughs> sounds stupid, a silky silk. It's, it's got a name. Um, it's like a washed silk, I think. Um, and this is one of the big ones. So this is 140. So this is absolutely huge. I'm never gonna get all of this on camera, but you can see how pretty it is with all these spring colors in it. And it's just beautiful. It's got it's got swans and it's another pool scene and it's got um, uh, seahorses and the sharks and I don't know. It's just interesting and I just like the colours. I can't I can't help myself. I just I can't. I see them. I go oh they're so pretty. Um, so that's that one. And then let's do the little box. And it's another bag tag. 
bag charm. So this one, I'm a stationary freak. I really am. I love stationery. My mother is um, an educator. I am an educator by trade. Um, and you just like take me to take me to office works, take me to stationery store, give me a couple hundred bucks and say go nuts, and it's like the best day ever. So I love stationery. And this is a tiny little book that you can hang from your handbag and you just write notes and tear them off. But as somebody who loves stationery, this appealed to me. I thought, oh, that's so cute. I also love books. Um, I love to read and I still am very old fashioned. I like an actual book, not an e-reader um, or an audio book. I still love an actual book. So this one appealed to me for those reasons because it is very me. Uh, but once again, I can hear Kikan screaming, back and bait. <laughs> So that's that one and a couple more, a couple more. We might do the big one. Let's do the big one. Oh, very big. Oh goodness. Okay. So let's do this one. This one on the ground. So this one is a blanket. Now, Hermes blankets, yes, are expensive, but they are so soft, so warm, and they make beautiful decor in your home. So I've got, I think this is our fourth blanket, our fourth Hermes blanket, and it's just the Bride's Degala print in it, all in blues. Um, and I actually thought I might put this in my son's room. Um, cause we're coming into winter here in Australia, so it's going to get cold. Um, although having said that our version of cold is very different to other countries' versions of cold. Um, we don't get a lot of snow. It's, it's generally what, uh, other countries would consider very mild. Um, but still for us, we feel the cold. So these are beautiful blankets for that. And I think I'll end up with it in my son's room. And once again, I'll um, put my Instagram handle up because once I get all my blankets unpacked, I will also do a quick reel of them for everybody so you can see the different ones that I've got. Because um, they really are beautiful. They do truly, truly beautiful home textiles at Hermes. Um, everybody goes in for their leathers, but their silks and their home textiles. Um, even their, their crockery um, and uh, metalwork products. So I've got beautiful champagne goblets made of metal that I bought through them. They're just stunningly beautiful. This one. <laughs> this one <laughs> goes with the last one, which should tell you what it is. Oh. And we have the matching billow, which is this color blue on this side and this color blue on this side. And it's just so snuggly, so snuggly. Um, so yeah, so I have that set now cause once again, I'm a crazy person and I can't have one without the other. So if I'm going to have the blanket, I need the matching cushion. Otherwise it'll drive me insane. So let's just do that. Hermes dust bags are nothing amazing in terms of colour, but they are thick um, and they're super sturdy. Uh, two more. Two more. So let's do these ones. So interesting fact, the original Hermes box was not orange. It was a cream colour, but during the, I'm going to say, Second World War, First World War, should have done my research on that one. Um, they couldn't get the color that they had always used for boxes and the only color available was this orange. So that's the color they went with. And these are now the boxes that everybody knows as Hermes. So I thought it was interesting that they didn't actually choose it. They got left with it, but it has worked so well for them because everybody knows the orange box. So it's another scarf. So it's 
the same design as my other one, but in a different color scheme. So you'll notice this one's got um, a lot more purples in it and it's a bit more muted. But once again, it's 140 centimeter and these are great shawls. Like they, they will wrap around you. Um, I will take one on the plane with me when I travel because they really do actually go a long way. Hang on a minute. Let's do this so you can all see. Okay. Not my best attempt at this, but we will get there. There we go. Let's find the corners, Meredith, and that will make your life easier. Obviously, this is a heap easier to do when you're not sitting down. There we go. So if I wrap it around, it covers a fair bit and you can just, if you've got um, scarf rings, you could put one there and that would just tie it in and just keep you a little bit warmer at the top. But I love them. I think they're beautiful. They add color to any outfit. So yeah, if you're like me and you wear a lot of black, then the scarves can be great to just throw in some color for you into your outfits. All right, last one. Let's take that off. Put that over there. Oh, last one, same size box. So we saw this one in store and he didn't have it in a colorway I liked. So my sales associate then got me in one in a colorway I liked. And I think we're going to use this one definitely as art because it's very much my partner. So my partner is very musical, um, plays a lot of instruments. And I have promised him in this house, he can have the drum kit that I bought him for his 40th um, that we haven't actually purchased yet. And he is now 43, <laughs> but I have promised him he can have his drum kit in this house and all his guitars set up. So we think that we might hang this as art up there. So you can see it's super funky. Um, and I'm not usually a fan of orange, but when it's with blue and it's, and it's, um, used sparingly like this I, I really like it I think it's a great um, accent to the blue so this is more of a long scarf but it's just very cool and can I just say if you think Hermes is like old people style they do some fantastic designs for their scarves. I have one, my favorite Hermes scarf, and I'll have to find it and post it up on Instagram. Um, my favorite Hermes scarf is a rock concert where all the people performing and all the people in the audience are horses. It's fun. Like, I don't, like they don't just do these boring designs or these abstract colors. They do fun things. So yeah, get yourself into Hermes and check out their scarves if, if you're thinking that they are old lady scarves, cause they're not, they're just not anymore. Um, so they're all my Hermes unboxings for today. Uh, I have coming up later this week, uh, Louboutin and I've got a Chanel unboxing, but it's not from the store. It's on consignment and it is that it bag. If you know what that is, you want to see. So if you have liked today's video, please hit the subscribe button down below. Please um, come back and see my other boxings. Uh, you'll notice my backdrop changes every time I talk about a different brand. Um, so at the very least, come back and see my collection. Um, I have enjoyed having you to here today and um, hopefully I'll get to see you in the next one. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day today um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.